kahapon you were expressing that this could be and you know you you said that we might hit 8000 thank god you're wrong uh, but at the same time you did say that you know the numbers could be suggesting that we could be at the start of another surge uh, where are we on that particular um, thinking well actually you know um <clears throat> This report I mean, today, based on yesterday's numbers, uh, we saw the reproduction number in the NCR spike to um, nasa 1.15 uh, na from 0 0.91 last week. So it's above one and hindi lang above one. Yung increase niya, uh, mm. it was actually in our report, um, it was similar to the increase from February 13 to February 19 which was the start of the surge oh. in uh, March. Mm. So you see, we might be at the very earliest stage of the surge. And, uh, and that's why we have to be proactive. Because last time, February 13 to 19, we weren't sure because it was very early stages. So sabi namin, Sige, let's wait a few more days to confirm the trend. And then on February 24 to 26, uh, we confirmed it. It was definitely increasing, and then we sounded the alarm. Uh, pero we got the response um, March na. In fact, we had the ECQ March, um, you know, March 28, and you know, before that time, we we had a you know we had a discussion. It's not being namin mag two week timeout na lang during Holy Week. Um, actually, nangyari nga siya. Nag nag ng ECQ during Holy Week. Pero at so this time, so you think that should should we nip it in the bud? I think that. That's really the question, Ediba. I mean, if you're saying that we're seeing a, a, the start of a surge and that it looks too much like the February experience, we, right. should we be more drastic in, in our restrictions? Right. It doesn't have to be drastic, but we have to be uh, um, proactive and we have to do it early. If we do it earlier, then we don't have to wait until um, the surge. Uh, and then, you know, it'll be easier to, to control this if we start earlier. Um, you know, we could start now. Uh, in fact, last week, Panami Sinasabi, even before the start of the surge, parang, you know, we could contain the, the region, maybe impose a, a bubble, uh, stricter border controls. Ngayon, maybe the border controls will not be so useful. But what we're saying is, you know, we could have, you know, uh, be more proactive, you know, um, Pwedeng lagyan na natin ng curfew, um, you know, lessen capacities in establishments, um, disallow children. So some, some interventions na hindi pa naman drastic uh, in scale, but at least we're doing something that will help uh, reduce your mobility, help reduce yung possibility of infections. And I think we, we, can, we can still do that now. Um, hindi naman natin kailangan hintayin na, okay, like last time, hinihintayin namin one week and then, uh, at that time, to the cases, we were like doubling number of cases. We don't have to wait until we cases. Mm -hmm. Of course, it could be a false alarm. But then, you know, I didn't pala tatas masyado, pero wala na masama if we are careful, yeah. especially since we have evidence that may local cases ng Delta variant, and that's the, that's a big game changer. Kung wala namang local cases and we're seeing an uptick, hindi naman kami ma alarm din. Eh. So the game changer is mm -hmm. the presence of the Delta variant. And if we're overreacting, I don't think we're overreacting, but we're just being cautious na uunahan na natin uh, before something happens. We don't want to wait until we start to seeing this, you know, the, the semblance of India or Indonesia. Kasi when that level comes now, we're certain to make surge. Uh, it might be too late. If it's a bihin, yung interventions natin might not work anymore. Even if we have a you know a GCQ with restrictions, it might not work anymore. Like last time, nandito search tayo. We had to resort to ECQ because we don't have choices. But right now, if we increase some uh, ano lang, some restrictions, hindi naman kailangan mag MECQ pa, for example, then maybe we can, as you said, you know, we can control it, control it at the, at, at the outset. Professor, we heard Father Nick Austria say warning that it might go up to 10,000 a day. But we're talking here about the Delta variant, na more transmissible, na really, really transmissible. What will that mean exactly for us? Alimbawa, naka 10,000 tayo. Uh, in, in within what period, masya mag triple, quadruple, ganon, kung hindi siya makokontrol? Well, well, Amy, I mean, Right now, kasi yung starting point natin was matase eh, because we were already at around almost 6,000 cases yes. per day. Ngayon. If it's been uh, a slight surge, lang, but then to 10,000 
and it could even go higher. So it could even surpass. Because last time, nung nag surge tayo, no, February, we were starting at 2,000. So mas yeah, but mas wasn't Delta pa, no? that wasn't It wasn't Delta, Delta pa. pa, yes. Well, may mitig mitigating circumstances like yung, ano, yung factor na we have 15% fully vaccinated and uh, that would help as, as we mentioned. Pero yun nga, I mean, we're talking about the Delta. I mean, sa, sa Indonesia, they also have a high number of vaccinations, yeah. pero they're being hit by... <clears throat> The, the Delta variant, we don't have to wait until we get to that point na, you know, uh, tinatamantay na Delta variant, we could, you know, be, be more proactive.